All right, what's up, what's up? Welcome back for another recap video. Today, we have a couple gappers. Uh, F-E-M-Y, a complete chop fest. S-L-N-O, a parabolic $4 stock all the way up to $30 a share. My goodness, I have never seen anything like this in a very long time long time here on slno this thing pre-market i saw this around seven or eight um it just started going parabolic um i didn't trade this at all i did not trade this one bit on slno ripped all the way to 18 bucks pulled back and had the strength the strength off of this support level my goodness this thing Pull back from 18 to 10, uh, high 10s, curled up, broke through pre-market highs into $21 a share, um, all the way up to $25 a share, and then midday rallying up to 30. I did not trade this one at all. Um, really, not really much, really tough trade trade price price action to trade um, at the open on SLNO. Very choppy, high risk for sure. The upside from here, um, you know, you're at this point you're trading a stock that's at like 500% on the day. Um, so, you know, how much higher can they go from here type of thing here? And, you know, if you catch a halt down, you really don't know where it will open up. So I did stay away from SLNO. I made most of my gains here on FEMY. Um, this one I was up over 100 on, uh, gave back a little bit off the top, uh, but I traded these, uh, this first um, one minute candle here. Um, caught the dip and uh, added for the reclaim and sold into this pop. Um, I did take a trade on the resumption uh, I took on the resumption of this halt, so we halted up. I thought this was going to be, after SLNO, I thought this was going to be the next stock that was just going to go bananas. I thought this thing was, was going to go bananas, um, which, I mean, it did make a move from $0.30 cents all the way up to $1.50. It already went bananas in some sort of way, but I thought we'd have some more continuation on it, uh, FEMY, um, especially after SLNO. Um, so I was ready to I was ready to punch the gas today. I was ready to hit it. I was ready to hit it nice and strong today, but um, the lack of opportunity. I was surprised by the lack of opportunity today. Um, very choppy, uh, very choppy at market open. So I took one pretty decent sized trade here on FEMY, uh, but then once this thing dumped down to here, halted down and went lower. I was pause off, um, didn't really trade much um, after that. I did take a trade here, anticipating uh, a curl up to 140 maybe, um, but that didn't happen. It pulled back again. I took another trade up in here, looking for a continuation up to 143 and then break to 150. That didn't happen. Um, so I like cut break even here, and then I bought a dip here at, one, at 122. Um, off of this pivot point, I bought a dip here and that thing fell through so dang fast. I lost 10 cents a share on my starter position size, uh, it's very small size, uh, but it didn't, did end up giving back off the top. Uh, I also was starting red today as well. I was actually red 60 bucks in the hole until I came back green, rallying up to over 100 bucks on the day and uh, giving a little bit off the top. I can show my um, my intraday PNL uh, finishing up 82 right now. Uh, not too bad, you know. Continuing the green streak for the month. Uh, still only one red day in the month, so hanging in there strong with this choppy market. Um, I think I traded very well today, given the market conditions. Um, you know, the opportunity was not my type of opportunity that I performed well on. I was able to get capture one opportunity here right at the open on FMEY and then faded my risk really sharp after the lack of opportunity uh, for the rest of the day. Uh, really sized down for um, these moves here that I was took, took small losses for. 
you know, if it did result in a move, um, then I could always, you know, add into it and add risk. Um, but if I'm not seeing any any re resolution in the direction that I want it to go, <clears throat> then there's no reason to be doubling or tripling or quadrupling my risk on any sort of trade. Um, so faded my risk pretty fast right after this first trade here on FEMY and locked up another green day. Um, I think that was the best way, the best scenario for me. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was expecting something a lot bigger after seeing SLNO. Um, so we can take a look here on, we can take a look here on the statistics on the day. So the stats on the day are showing, you know, very small winnings and small losses. Profit margin 45%, uh, so a little over my average. My average is 40%. So, however, what's interesting is look at my total winners. My total winners are 35%. Usually, usually my win ratio is up towards 60%, uh, 55%, 55 to 60%. So, I did not have a lot of winning trades today, but the winners that I did have were about three to four, about three times the size of my losers uh, so you know that's just from you know if I'm profitable on a negative win uh, win ratio that means I'm able to identify the opportunities the a plus opportunities or the a plus opportunity or the a the a opportunities or the B plus opportunities from the C opportunities or you know even taking a B opportunity uh, versus a C opportunity. So, you know, being able to recognize um, the potential reward on some of these uh, setups is key to staying profitable. And, you know, if you can be green on a negative win ratio, uh, that means that you are developing the eye to see the, the great opportunity uh, that the market presents to you maybe only once or twice in a day in the small cap market. Um, if you're able to capture that and then cut your losers on all of these other trades, today I had 27 other trades that were losers, I'm able to cut those so small, I can walk away with a nice profit. Um, so about hung out, I hung, um, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I finished with 45% of my total winnings. So, you know, even with cutting my losers small, uh, yeah, cutting my losers quick, keeping them small with a 30% win ratio, 62% of my trades were red. I was able to keep it small and keep a green day. Keep a green day under my belt, keep the streak alive, stay consistent. That's really my, the secret of what I've been doing this month to just stay green is like literally I am taking the best one or two opportunities of the day and then fading my risk and like really just being very picky with my with my setups. I'm not just taking every single stock that's going up. I'm not taking every single trade that's a low float runner with a news catalyst because that does not mean that the stock is going to go up. Um, a lot of times these stocks are opening and they are dumping right down to the lows. Um, and no, not having any sort of bias coming into the market has kept me green. Um, so really just taking it as the opportunity comes, not having any pre-biases, um, you know, because that'll, that'll force you, um, it'll tempt you to hold your losers longer or, yeah, it'll tempt you to hold your losers longer and, uh, you know, it can turn out to be a washout day. Uh, to the downside um, so you definitely want to avoid that and what I've been doing is just taking the best quality setup of the day and then being very very skeptical of all of the opportunities that come after it because for my strategy I perform best between 9 30 and 10 and anything after 10 is really I only should be trading if it's a hotter market and there's nothing um, right here today, I mean, we did see SLNO. That's why I thought it was going to be a hotter market today, but um, it really was uh, very choppy today. It wasn't what I was expecting. So, you know, I was able to adjust to that 
and hold on to a nice green day, a decent green day. So, you know, I'm happy I'm not red. Uh, we can take a look at my intraday P&L quick. Uh, but hope you guys did well today. I uh, hope you guys smashed SLNO. Uh, that one was a tricky one after the open. You had to be, you had to ride that pre-market. I know some people in the Discord rode that pre-market for their daily goal, a massive green day, and then left. They, they that was the best move ever uh, today. The best move that you could have done. But yeah, I started out red. Look, I was down here red. About 60 bucks, rallied up green, FEMY, um, and then started to get back some profits um, off the top. So, um, wrapping it up here, and uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, please hit the thumbs up button. Thank you for supporting the channel. Also, subscribe. If you're not yet a subscriber, check out those links in the description, and I'll catch you guys in the the next one see you tomorrow hopefully hopefully we get some better opportunity tomorrow and get some nice proper clean front sides that would be beautiful uh so see you guys tomorrow get some rest peace